Hello friends, Duncan here. Just wanted to do a short update about the bed and breakfast that I stayed in here. Uh, this is the B&B Casa Juarez. Um, and uh, easy way to remember it is we're actually on uh, Calle Benito Juarez Street. This street actually is only five blocks down from the Malacan, so it's really super conveniently located. Uh, quite a number of uh, great restaurants. Of course, once you get down to the Malacan, the, uh, the options are endless, but really, uh, uh, really a great place. So um, I've taken a few pictures. I'll put them in the, in the video as well. It's got a total of seven rooms. Three of the rooms are uh, basically single rooms, so they don't have a kitchen with them. Two of the rooms are basically larger rooms with kitchen. That's the room, one of the rooms I stayed in, and then two of the rooms are apartments, so a total of seven rooms. Nice little courtyard inside once you come, once you come through the entrance, a little sitting area, breakfast area and then also a pool. So I was able to enjoy the pool one afternoon when I came back from my excursions down in La Paz and it was really great because there was, although it was just a little bit chilly, there was a spot of sun that was coming down and really, uh, really nice. And they, uh, the, the pool is also heated, so temperature was okay. A little slightly chilly, but uh, certainly comfortable to uh, uh, certainly comfortable to swim in. So that was really nice. The uh, the owner of the B&B is uh, Sylvia and her husband. They're Italian. They basically built this place. Um, I think she said seven years ago. It's a quiet little um, oasis away from all the madness down there at, at the at the Malacan. So parking is uh, is along the street. So I'm going to show you kind of what the street looks like. And you'll notice all the plain curb area that is available for parking. And then also on the, uh, the side of the street where I'm parked currently. So this is my rental car right here, this, this white sedan. You see there's a number of parking spaces uh, that are available. Uh, so this is where I left uh, my car parked and really had no issue. Of course, um, I always remove everything from the interior of the car uh, so that there's nothing visible uh, and uh, lock it up in the trunk to reduce the possibility of someone smash and grab. So, so that was it. I, I booked it through Expedia like I do uh, a lot of the excursions, uh, excursions and hotels that I'm doing. Very good results with Expedia. I've now gotten to a point with Expedia that I'm a what they call a VIP member. I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, I guess I've, I've had enough bookings with them to qualify uh, as part of that because I was a VIP member. Sylvia was kind enough um, on my first night in to uh, actually uh, give me a, uh, a bottle of wine. So it was a bottle of Chardonnay from Valle de Guadalupe. And for those of you that, that know Baja, this is a very famous wine region that's up in the north central part of Baja. It's very nice of her to do that. Um, also provided some snacks in the rooms and that type of thing. So definitely, uh, definitely enjoyed it. Um, I think the cost I would say was roughly, I don't know, $150, $200 per night, uh, somewhere in that, uh, somewhere in that range. Uh, but given what, what you get uh, for the location, being, you know, this close to the Malacan really was great.
that's about it. I'm currently getting ready to head to Los Barillas uh, by way of Cerritos Beach. I want to go by and get some drone footage there. Hopefully catch some nice surfers out there and uh, take advantage of that and then uh, kind of backtrack a little bit and make my way to Los Barillas. A little chilly today, but um, I would say currently in the uh, uh, currently in about the mid-60s. But, but that's it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.